This is how you use the new 10.0 UI. There are timestamps for everything you can possibly ask for. I will start by going into the game managing option. It's the top button. Then click on action bars, which is the third from the top. I usually turn on all nine. I would also recommend turning on show number for cooldown. So when you use an ability, it will show how long you have left. Target. It's very useful. The next step is I'm going to show you how to edit your menus. Go into game menu and then press edit mode, which is under option. When you open it for the first time, it should look like something like this. You can press the extend option menu to show more things you can move around. But I'm going to go deeper in that later. I would recommend snap mode so all your boxes snap together easily. You can also change between classic and modern layout. It will pretty much only change the position of your player frame. So it's pretty much useless. And I would recommend just making your own custom UI. It is really easy to move you around your action bars. It's uh, just take it and move it around. You can place it anywhere you want on the screen. And thanks to the snap feature, it will uh, make straight nice line. You can move every single object which is highlighted in light blue. And let's say you made a really bad UI which you regret. You can simply press reverse all changes to reset it to what was before. You can also use the grid button. It will make a grid on the screen. Use the slider to change the density of the, the squares. If you drag and drop the features, they will snap to the squares. It is really intuitive. It will be also really good if you want to center things and place them in a specific even order. Next up is the customization of the action bars. You can change the height and the rows. So if you want to make them square, you can. There's also the amount of icons you have. So if you want an extra short bar, you can change that to B. And of course, you can also make them huge. Icon padding is for the distance between the frames. Last but not least, you can change if you want vertical or horizontal bars. You can also change your sidebars to make them horizontal. The always show button button will make it so the background of the panel will disappear. Click it again, it will reappear like normal. Unfortunately, when you move an item, it will disappear if you drag them. But if you really want the bat, you can just reload the UI. But the button still works, even if it's still gone. It will probably be fixed in a couple of weeks or days. To change keybinds, open options and put the down right of the gameplay panel, where it says quick keybind mode. Simply mouse over where you want to change it and click the button you want in. When you're done, you can press character specific keybinds if you only want the keybinds for this character. Otherwise, don't click it in. If you don't like your keybinds, you can click reset the default, which will of course reset your keybinds to default. But if you're happy with your keybinds, you can just press OK and then you're done. So it's as easy as that and they will work. Don't forget, if you want to move your icons, just click shift and drag them. It is as easy as that. Next up is character specific macros. It is under edit mode and just click there. And on the top you will see banked mouse specific or your name specific. It works as usual, but the macros will only be accessible by this character. So when you make a new macro, it will only appear for this character and this character only. I don't know how useful this is, but uh, it's here. And it works like any other macro, but it is character specific. Next thing I'm going to show is the buff frames. The buff frames are finally customizable. You can change width, height, position, and direction where it comes from. This is great so it's not tucked up in the corner and you can put it anywhere else, so... For more customizations, you can put the expand options, which will show a lot of different things. Just click the option and it will appear as a customizable frame, which you can change. There's a lot of them, but the, the customizations of them are pretty similar. You can change the height, the direction, and the position of the object. I'm not going to go through them all right now, because it will take too long and it doesn't really matter, because they're so similar. So it's just clicking the thing you want to move and you're able to move it, customize it and whatever. And when you're done, you can just unclick them all. So it will return to normal. Otherwise, the menu will be really, really cluttered. Next, time I'm gonna, next up, I'm going to show you how to save, export and import UIs. So let's say you made this very nice new UI, which you like. Under layers, go to about in the middle and press the new layer button. Then you can write in what you want to call it. And then as easy as that, it's saved. You can easily switch between UIs that you made on the top under layers. So if you want to share the UI with someone else or port, just go into edit mode and on the bottom it says share. Press it and copy paste it by clicking on the link. Then you can just send this in chat or to someone else. To show you how it looks in up to import, I'm going to use the UI I just made. Press import and then copy paste in what you made. It's something you already haven't named. Otherwise, it will just say that name is already used. If you want to make it character specific, just click character specific button and then press import. I wanted to make it character specific, so I appeared as Bankman specific on the top. 
If you want to make a layer you have already made character specific or the opposites, just press the cog, cog thing at the end of it and then write in the new name and click the character specific and not character specific button. Then you will have made an exact copy of the same UI. You can also use this to change the name of it. So if you log into another character and press the edit mode button and go into layout, you will see the layers you can use from the other characters. So all the layers you have chosen not to be spe character specific are able to be used by all the characters you have. Even if this character didn't make the UI, you can simply change the name of it and customize the UI for all the characters. You can also press the stop mark to delete the layout. Another positive change with the new UI, you don't need bag on to put all the bags in one slot. Just press the bag icon and convert to one bag. Unfortunately, this is not possible to do in the bank, so you need to open each window specifically. So you will probably need an add-on for this.